void, but somehow different this time. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned your father into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Am I dreaming? If not, how is Delilah doing this? go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spymaster caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me the name? We were just playing. Yeah, lady Jessica. What's your name? It was her. Delilah's wife. She broke it. saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! The sentence is served that you'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. to know whether my dear old aunt is telling the truth or not. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, he's going to give me a name. The next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. Even in the void, if only I could do more. Mother? That wasn't.
wasn't a dream, was it? Am, Am I, I to blame, blame for Delilah's, Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our, Our decisions, decisions have weight. I feel my time drawn to an end. Soon. his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, He'll undo my best efforts here. Then we'll have to make sure Duke Luca Abel doesn't overstay his welcome. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. Some of them have made their beds, Alexandria. I wish there was something I could remember to help in your efforts. Megan is worried that someone will see us coming and going. I might depart soon. Anton and I are both in your debt. help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Dindos would have snapped me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Emily did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. They knew you'd try me. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindos. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Emily. Ah, the Empress has risen. A peaceful sleep, I hope. Nothing like the pillows at Dunwall Tower, made of goose feathers. Sit down when you want to talk. Delilah Copperspoon, or is it Caldwin? Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and my father is missing. This is Anton Sokolov the greatest mind in the Empire. No, Emily. Megan is right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sarkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. She's the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, 
is obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. Ashworth has an interest in the occult. That's a snotty way to put it. In another life, you might be facing me along with her. Head to the skiff when you're ready, Empress. Delilah's cult must be thrilled she's got the throne. But she wouldn't piss on them if they were on fire. Wake me when Karnaka starts to burn. What a painting that will make. Maybe I should begin a series of bloodfly-related sketches. Infested corpses and the like. I've never paid a visit to the Royal Conservatory, but allegedly it has a number of unique pieces. The familiar creaks and groans of the dreadful whale. I lie awake listening, just to remind myself I'm safe again. trouble remembering my mother's face sometimes, but there might be some resemblance. Painted from memory. While trying to learn more about what the Duke of Sarkonos was up to, I began hearing a name I hadn't heard in almost two decades, Delilah Copperspoon. We painted together for a time, but her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. I saw some of her paintings. Beautiful but somehow sinister. You knew Delilah? All this time traveling with you and you never mentioned My that? past is none of your business. You don't own everything, Empress. Another life, another life. Megan came to Karnaka to reinvent herself. Maybe I did as well, but the Duke of Sarkonos had other ideas.
tired of the petty squabbles of the elite. They still seek him out for portraits, new elixirs, or body stories. Some, just to see the great Sokolov, now stooped and humbled. But it's all still there, in his mind. Every formula, every equation, harder and harder to recall. In his dreams, he sees the names and faces of every subject he experimented on. In the name of progress, he would flock to his lectures. When all the seats were full, they would line the hallways, straining to hear. Hypatia, Jinnosh, all the great minds of today owe him a debt. When Jinnosh held him, Sokolov believed he would die. And then that changed him. He is so tired. He is remembering the great voyage he took by sea. So many men lost. Reaching Pandisia, burning wastes. Anton, how great you were. Rest now, my friend. If he has any other secrets, they are hidden from me. Jindash won't be making his army of clockwork soldiers. Brianna Ashworth has the look of an aristocrat, but her connection to Delilah makes her something more. One of the more elaborate structures in Karnaka, closed to the public. More of the Duke's questionable rulership. It'll be good to see the Royal Conservatory, even if it's closed to the public. So many things make sense. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth. 
from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Mabel. See you soon. This is where we should meet our contact. From the Colomar Furniture Workshop. How long do we have to wait? As long as it takes. We'll be picking up balusters and spindles made of Sirconin Umberwood. I thought the old Duke Theodanus outlawed Umberwood export to protect the trees. I can't keep track of all the decrees. My client's refurbishing her gazebo, adding an exotic southern touch. I don't get it. When I went to Dunwall, I brought back a river cross show to use as an ashtray. Because it reminds me of good times. But what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she wants. Delilah's coven crossed paths with my old gang 15 years back. It was a bad time. If you can find Byrne's spying setup, he's probably collected some useful notes about whatever Ashworth is up to. Ashworth won't give a second thought to cutting your throat. Don't give her the chance. Brianna Ashworth is a true believer. She'll never turn away from Delilah. I'll meet you back here when it's done. for a second. Today's your lucky day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Never heard of her. Oh, wait, wasn't she a waitress down on the docks? You must have heard the stories about Pirate Betty. About all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinkets or a bag of coins. No, I've never heard one word about your exploits, but go on. What did you do to your marks? Give them a good tap on the nose? For shit's sake, why do you have to ruin everything? I played my part when I was the victim. How are we supposed to attract any suckers if you won't play along? You're the worst thug I've ever seen. Pirate Betty, my ass. You couldn't scare a seagull. <sighs> what a moving, tragic death. You're a far better actress than I am.
sorry, we're closed. All right, we're open, but please make it quick. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I'd check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. I'll think about it. See anything you like? Come in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. An excellent choice. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Visit again soon, and keep a close watch on your coin. of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth has some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The Overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated.
light been acting up? No. The technical officer came by and said it was fine. He looked at the wall of light and climbed up to check the windmill. All good. Why? Yesterday, the wind kicked up so hard I thought the windmill was gonna fall apart. The wall of light was flickering and sparking like crazy. I've seen that too. But whale oil's expensive now, and the tanks run dry. The wind's unpredictable, but it's still better than a bunch of howlers running through the checkpoint and knifing us to death. Yeah, I see your point. Enrico said to give you his regards. That donkey-faced Cretan can open his wrists for all I care. Did you bring me something? The silver cigarette case, like we agreed? No, listen, I, I won't steal anything else. I'm lucky to have room and board at one of the finest places in Karnaka. I, I can't lose this job. Oh, really? You like being a servant? Polishing and dusting. The place smells of lavender and antique furniture. Not like the dust district where the soot makes your teeth gray. Is that any way to talk about the place where we got our start, Beatrix? You're too good for street dust now. We'll see about that! No. Ah. Ah. Karnaka, Karnaka, my Karnaka, brothers and sisters of my blood. Something feels Duke. wrong. This is the Duke. Must all know, must all know my voice by now. A new Empress sits, new Empress sits on the throne in Dunkirk. Our rightful ruler, Our rightful ruler Delilah called her name. First of her name. I thought it was a blood flash for a second. Traitors. Traitors. Her claim to the throne. Morally. Morally. Treasonous nation skulking in the cold, gloomy door. If they want war, we'll give it to them, no matter how many of you I have to sacrifice. The Kronos will fight for Delilah to the bitter end. Ashworth is somewhere inside the Royal Conservatory. Did anyone ever find out what happened to Pearlton and Lieutenant Colbers? They probably ran off, you ask me. Must have had a thing for each other. No, she went missing a day before he did. And someone found an officer's pistol in the gutter. I think something else happened. Maybe they went inside the conservatory. Look, Karnaka's leaking people. 
We tell ourselves we're keeping it together, but everyone is afraid of what will happen when it really falls apart. Should have listened to mom. So much evil. something bad. Maybe it's nothing. across this dying city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated banker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashwood's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well.
it. I need Hmm. Smell. Is it the fountain? Yeah, the water gets nasty sometimes. It flows from the fountain to the conservatory basement. There was work being done, so there's a grate missing. <sighs> Maybe some animal crawled in there and died. Disgusting. You'd think someone inside the conservatory would complain. The place is mostly shuttered, but somebody's still inside. There was a delivery from Jindosh Clockworks a few days back. Whatever they're doing, I'd be happier <clears throat> if the gate wasn't the so close to that fountain shift. And <laughs>
need to find... Now I sword through the heart wasn't enough to kill our new Empress Delilah. Magistrates, come before me and bow, for I am Delilah, your queen. All hail Delilah, the moon in the sky and the mist lying over the lake like a blanket. Amelia, dear, if Brianna hears you and her mood is off, you're going to lose an eye making fun like that. She's only having fun, Francesca, and Brianna's too busy with the communion to be bothered. She's got the mind on the sisters of the black. Yes, because otherwise the Abbey will see us all blackened by fire. Now stop with this nonsense. <laughs> They keep the curious away. Our mistress likes them where they are, so you'll have to tolerate them. Yes, but sometimes I want to smash them into a bloody pulp, just to enjoy the silence. Is this a riddle? We're talking about the Grand Guard, right? Not the lovely blood flies. Of course, the blood flies adore us. We should find more of the newly dead, so they can make new nests. Then I agree. 
But dear Brianna wants us to wait until after the communion. Until she's finished with the oracular sisters. We can't risk raising suspicion now. Then for now we'll wait. Content with the nests we have. Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. After Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton, three years ago. Across the Isle, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. man Kieran Jindosh, and what power does he hold over Brianna? Are they lovers? Perhaps, but that wouldn't give him any power over Brianna. Jindosh is an ally, an agent of the Duke, gifted in the ways of natural philosophy. Together, they've built something that can pierce the void itself. I've never seen Brianna work with machines. She's always relied on precious bones and ivory, carved in a room with no light. Painted with ash and moon's blood. Not lenses and silver cogs covered in stinking grease. This is a special endeavor important to Delilah. You think no one can harm us, but the Overseers and the Sisters of the Oracular Order are fanatics, dedicated to stopping us from living the lives we want. So why use their own machinery? These music boxes, even when torn apart, they'll bring us bad luck. I don't like it. 
Jindosh and Brianna know what they're doing. Their collaboration is unusual, but it pleases Delilah, and it's Brianna's obsession. So it is, then. Let's hope that cursed mechanism doesn't pull us all into the void. I think I could ask Brianna to make an effigy of me. Mean? You mean She's like this tangle of favorite. skin and bones representing one of the Dunderheads from the Oracular Order? Yes. And why not? I'd keep it in my chambers. You have bizarre taste, my dear Clarissa. Uh, I wouldn't want to see myself like that. I'd rather have my portrait painted by Delilah. There's a quality to Brianna's style I prefer. Mm. Touched by something from deep down in the mud where there's no light. The endless womb and the cold, dead grave. Both the same. But Brianna's effigy has let her reach into the mind, into the heart. Wouldn't you be afraid she'd influence your dreams? Like she's going to do to the Sisters of the Abbey? That's part of the thrill, sister. For weeks, she gave up. You should have seen the twisted things she made. All snouts and teeth and tails. That's just the way it is, dear Parmelia. Delilah wears the outsider's mark, and some of what she can do flows down to us. It doesn't seem fair. Think about working your fingers raw, weaving nets, or raising cows to slaughter. Any of the gifts we receive is better than living under the boot. That's true and fine. A wise way to look at things. But it won't help Lucinda rise any higher in Delilah's favor.
something about just before Delilah's I wanted to know what it was. Not my fault. I'm teasing Tamina. I read it too. Do you think Delilah really could have done that? I've heard the same stories about Paolo the Howler. What you've heard about Paolo is not the same. He's a street orphan, full of tricks. But I have faith Delilah could do such a thing. Coming back? It doesn't seem possible. That's all. My dear Orlando, some people see doors where you and I only see walls. Jindosh was tiresome. How does this even work? This looks important. I wonder what it does. If I can sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. So this could be tampered with. Ashworth could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. Thank you. 
I'm told he's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. Dash won't affect things. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still had the old lenses and cast-off parts piled in my workshop, but Jendash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. A tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Will you visit soon? Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye, Delilah, my Empress. Seems rather rude to die here, whoever you were. Oops. Oh, what is the world? Of sorts. Bone and skin stretched across canvas, with pigments coaxed from blood and hair. Brianna Ashworth. She is the curator at the Royal Conservatory. But she is something more. She moved to Brickmore Manor with Delilah and the original coven in the year 
January 1836, a curator by day, hosting aristocrats, but she has many secrets. Sixteen years ago, it was just Brianna Ashworth and Delilah when they founded the cover together. There's something she made from oil laws, more powerful than a simple charm. So they wanted to put away that wheezing old man. So she ran away. Ran to Delilah. He went to Delilah after the death and across all these years. Delilah's arcane bond is strong with this one. Many of the powers manifest in Ashworth. She is a player in a game of power and magic. All the world will change. If she does her part, Ashworth comes from old money, but she hates the aristocracy as much as she hates anyone. After the Delilah's return, women from all over the Empire felt the pull of Delilah's power, coming to join them in Karnaka. She wants to reach out to them, to the sisters of the oracular order to whisper into their dreams. Sometimes, she remembers being with the Lana at the old Brickmore Manor, outside Dunwall, in the younger days. Her family would have forced her to marry that pig. She ran and never looked back. No, she has no more secrets that I can see. That set of lenses could be switched with the lenses in the device. Looks like Kieran Jindosh made these alternate lenses for Ashworth's device. Now I can use them to sabotage it. Now to activate it and sever Ashworth's connection to the Void. All that's left to do is hit the switch, and Ashworth should be powerless. touch of the void. The Lila. It was everything I had. Please, no. Leave me alone. You've ruined me. even be in this situation if you'd lived? How much of this sprang from your time on the throne?
When I close in on Delilah, I'll make it last. Counting the minutes. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Emily. Little Black Sparrow, free from your cage at last. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done! A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. Delilah, I will take apart everything you've built until I have what's mine. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, child. Hold on to that hate, usurper. You deserve worse. And you're going to get it. advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. They promised me to a man three times my age who wheezed on about our wedding night. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night, there was no returning to my cage. Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's banker and raced away from my old life toward Delilah. Those were the coven's glory days.
why do you cover your face? What do you want? Oh, I I'm sorry. Please take a look around. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. Welcome back. Please, take your time. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. An excellent choice. Visit again soon, and keep a close watch on your coin. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Emily, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things. That I'm not proud of. Isn't that a requirement for citizenship? What I've got to say is not a joke. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret. You never know who to trust. 
Do you? Everybody makes mistakes, Empress. You'll have to tell me all your secrets someday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes. Let's go. Take me back to the Dreadful Whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah.